something I've been wanting to talk to you both about. I know this is a difficult conversation, but I care about you both very much. And I know that you care about each other very much, and that's why it's important that we set these boundaries moving forward so we can build an environment where we all feel comfortable, trusted, and open to sharing our feelings. Feelings. Jesus. <laughs> the truth is, for so long, I'd forgotten what those even were. I've been stuck in one place, in a cave, you might say, a deep, dark cave. And then I left some egos out in the woods, and you came into my life, and for the first time in a long time, I started to feel things again. I started to feel happy. But lately, I guess I've been feeling distant from you. Like you're, you're pulling away from me or something. I miss playing board games every night. Making triple decker ego extravaganzas at sunrise, watching westerns together before we doze off. But I know you're getting older, growing, changing. And I guess, if I'm being really honest, that's what scares me. I don't want things to change. So I think maybe that's why I came in here, to try to maybe stop that change, to turn back the clock, to make things go back to how they were. But I know that's naive. It's just not how life works. It's moving, always moving, whether you like it or not. And yeah, sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's sad. And sometimes it's surprising, happy. So you know what? Keep on growing up, kid. Don't let me stop you. Make mistakes, learn from them. And when life hurts you, because it will, Remember the hurt. The hurt is good. It means you're out of that cave. But please, if you don't mind, for the sake of your poor old dad, keep the door open three inches. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.